for the sign of Aries. Hello and welcome to my channel. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Aries, the recent past energy between you and your person. We've got the Hermit and it's with the Queen of Wands. Now the Hermit, it's a very, it can be a very spiritual card. It could have something to do with institutions, large organizations, everything from a bank to an entire Christian church. It's kind of like the strength card in the tarot. You could be in the frame of mind where you need some time alone. Don't be afraid to take it, even if it's just a five minute walk around the house so that you can clear your head. This is also a card about trying very hard to do the right thing. But you want to make sure that doing the right thing actually includes doing what's right for you personally. And not just worrying about the wants and needs of others. Now, it's with the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands can refer to a woman. She'll have a lot of fire type of energy. She could be Aries. Leo, Sagittarius. Now, when this is not referring to an actual person in your life, it can stand for getting a lot accomplished. Could be focused on work or career. The Queen is very positive, uplifting energy. Now, when she does stand for an actual person or a woman in your life, she's a good friend who is solidly on your side, even though she could seem a bit self-absorbed and if you're trying to conceive and you get the queen of wands in a reading it's one of the more or what actually it's one of the most positive signs that there can be so the recent past energy between you and your person the hermit clarified by this queen of wands so what i'm getting for some of you aries is that you're dealing with someone who's very determined about you. Very determined. Because this Queen of Wands, she could be egotistical. She's used to getting what she wants. Very confident. The Queen of Wands knows her worth. And is very determined about you, Aries. But it looks like for one reason or another, the connection you know, in the, with the recent past energy showing up here with the Hermit card, the relationship, the person, or the connection was not a priority for you at that time. You wanted time alone. You wanted time to clear your mind and get rid of some baggage. Could be from the the relationship from whatever the person brought towards the connection you you wanted time away from it you wanted time alone but this person very very determined about you Aries that's a recent past energy between the two of you now we move on over and we take a look and see what's coming up for both of you. We got the Three of Wands and it's with the Four of Pentacles. Now the Three of Wands, with this card, you could actually find that your finances are going much better. You could start to feel like it's a time that your ship has finally arrived. Your ship has finally come in. You could be feeling really strong with a good reason. You may be finally experiencing some important success after you've been through some difficulty. Now the Three of Wands, it can refer to work in a very positive way. Even if you don't work outside the home, it means that your efforts, they're seen, they're appreciated, and they're well respected. Now it's with the Four of Pentacles, which can be a card about holding on to things, people, money, situations, Longer than, longer than it's healthy. Longer than it is healthy or realistic. Now, when this card appears, 
is actually a sign that you need to look carefully at what you're clinging to and whether others are clinging to you in an unhealthy way. Four of Pentacles, it points to anxiety, it points to fear, could be about money, or clinging to whatever it is that makes you feel secure. Now the key here is to try to realize that being anxious and grasping, it does not bring security. So, coming up, Three of Wands clarified by the Four of Pentacles for you and your person. So, what I'm getting is that like I said, your person is very determined about you. They know that you want time alone and some time to yourself. But still, Coming up, it looks like they're clinging on really tight to you, being very firm and resistant. Yeah, because if you look at the Four of Pentacles, it's the card below the word present. This man, he's got his hands and his feet on his money. He's on all fours. And uh, he's holding, clinging on to, a, to his pentacles really tight. When you hear the word pinnacles in the tarot, that means money, cash, coins, finance, income. Clinging on really tight. If a huge brick was to fall out of the sky and just knock them right over his head, he'd still be holding on to those pinnacles in that same position. So you, you're dealing with someone that... Um, could be holding on too tight to you in a very unhealthy way. Because maybe they're afraid of, the person's afraid of losing you. Because, like I said, the Four of Pentacles is about fear. But for you, because the Three of Wands is here, it looks like you're looking ahead. The Three of Wands looks ahead. You feel like your ship has finally arrived with something or someone. You're looking for expansion and growth. So, so for some of you, Aries, you've got someone else on your mind that you're thinking about going towards. You feel like with this, whoever this is you have on your mind... You feel like with them, there's expansion, growth, and you've made a decision. The Three of Wands makes a decision. There's no, no trying to figure it out. You've made a decision, and you're going forward with your person from this, this recent past energy person. They're clinging on to you very tight. So... I don't know how easy it's going to be for you to get on that ship. But they don't want to let you go. They don't want to lose you. If you're not, if you're not, if you haven't made a decision to go forward to someone else, then it's a situation that you feel that you'd have better growth and expansion with. But for most of you, it's someone else. So we move on over to the challenge. We've got the Queen of Cups and the Four of Swords. Now the Queen of Cups, it can indicate a woman. She'll be very helpful to you. She'll remind you to bring love, bring compassion to your work, to your world. And that's even possible even if you work in a factory all day with objects rather than people. So things are probably better in your working world. When you get the Queen of Cups in the reading. Yeah, whenever you see the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups in a reading, those are two of the most loving energies in the day. Very loving. What's in the cup? It's all about love. So this Queen of Cups 
This is with the Four of Swords. Now, the Four of Swords can signify a need for a break. Could be from normal life. This can also mean that you or someone in your life may withdraw for a time. Now, the withdrawal is not likely to be permanent. It occasionally can mean going to the hospital, going to jail. Those are two examples when you go away and then you come back. Just examples. That's it. That's it. Now, it's a sign to give people their space. You could be needing some time, some space to yourself. Others may be pushing too hard for bits and time of your attention. Don't hesitate to draw boundaries for yourself or to just say no. On the other hand, when others say no to you, take them at their word. Because if you push in the circumstance, it could be asking for trouble. Yeah, so the challenge, Queen of Cups, clarified by the Four of Swords. So yeah, you've got, Aries, you've got someone that's, that's really into you. you got someone, someone that loves. They want to offer you a cup of love. That's what the Queen of Cups, like I said, is all about love, compassion, nurturing, healing, very supportive type energy, this Queen of Cups. This is what, this is what um, the recent past energy person wants to bring to you. And this is a lot of the reason why they cling on so tight. They don't want to lose you. They've got a lot of love for you. But it looks like with four swords here, it looks like you might ghost this person. Even if it's just for a day. Yeah, because wherever you go, they, they come find you. They'll come looking for you. Your person is very determined about you. So you might ghost this person or just go away for a while. Because if you look at the Four of Swords, it's, it's the card below the word challenge. This man, it looks like he went up way up to the top of the mountains. He took his four dogs with him and four swords and a candle. And he just wants some rest. Usually it means rest after a struggle. So your person's pulling on you too tight. You want some rest after the struggle. So you might be thinking about ghosting this person. They got a lot of love for you. They unhealthy cling though. They could be, you might feel like they're clingy needy. But you got your eyes on something else. Yeah, I'm just looking at this Three of Wands here. And you're going forward. Yeah, you've made a decision. So let's see what the outcome is. We've got the Ten of Cups. And it's with the Star card. Now the Ten of Cups is actually one, one of the most uplifting cards you can get in a reading. It points to happiness. Perhaps in a more mature, grown-up kind of way. Really, really good card to get in a reading. Everyone wants the Ten of Cups in a reading. It speaks of happy family life. Even if you're single, to the overall well-being that goes beyond you. To include those that you're most concerned about. Your parents, siblings, children your pets, and much more. You could also be spiritually fulfilled. It's a part of the picture here also. Great card to see regardless of any question. Regardless of any question. The Ten of Cups makes you feel like your dreams have come to life or something is a dream come true. Now, it's with the Star card. The Star card, you could find yourself feeling really inspired more hopeful about the future than you have in a while. You can feel confident that your needs are being met, whether it's emotional, whether it's financial needs, or both. They, they'll be met. 
Just know that nothing can be taken for granted, of course, but it's going to be unlikely that your confidence is misplaced. This is also a spiritual card. You could find yourself filling at one with all of creation. It's not a common feeling, so you want to make sure that you savor it. So your outcome, Aries, Ten of Cups, clarified by the star. So, yeah, like I said, you... You might end up ghosting this person that's so clingy and so determined about you. And they got a lot of love for you. You're going forward with something. Yeah, you feel like your ship has arrived. I don't know where you're going. But for a lot of you, I'm picking up it's towards another person. And you feel that this person that you're going towards dare your dream come true yeah you feel like you could have it all with this person that you're going forward with they feel like a dream come true to you so you're leaving clingy needy behind yeah and whoever this is you're going going towards um, you like the fact that they rejuvenate you. You feel more hopeful about the future. Any grief of the past you feel is released when you're with this person. So yeah, you're ready to go. You've made a decision and you're going forward. No more clingy needy. So that is the reading that I have for you, Aries. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below for the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So, Aries, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care of yourselves. Come back and join me for the next Aries reading, which will be in about another four or five days. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind, the roles can be switched. You could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, your person could actually be a friend, could be a family member, or it could be a situation. So take the reading for however it resonates. Because these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So Aries, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope that you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading and take care. Reading and take care. Reading and take care.